when you are working with text in generative AI, semantic search is a king. Whether you are searching through a text or you are finding the exact matches or any similar matches, semantic search is what drives today's LLMs behind the scenes, especially when it comes to text-oriented tasks. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use semantic search in order to search in any language. You can use this course, uh, this code directly for any language out there, whether it is English, French, Urdu, Hindi, or whatever. So let me show you how you can do it. Before I delve into it, let me tell you that I'm using Cohere, which is a cool API and um, a method to add AI to your products. So you would need an API key from Cohere. If you want to get the API key from Cohere, Cohere, then all you would need to do is to go to this site, cohere.com, from there, login. And then after you have logged in, then on the left hand side, click on API keys and then grab your API key. So that's all you need to do at the Cohere and it's free. Then go back to your Linux instance or your notebook. I'm using uh, Google Scholab notebook and really thanks to Google for this free resource or you could use even AWS SageMaker Notebook instance. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to install Cohere. So let me do it. I'm running this cell, I'm installing Cohere and Anoy. And Anoy is just simply um, a Python module which lets you do the nearest neighbor search. It is done. Let's import Cohere. And this is the API key which I was talking about, which you need and you need to uh, replace this with your, with your own key. And then import this NOI package, which will let you do that semantic search and also the standard NumPy pandas which we use in machine learning. Okay, now this is the paragraph which I'm using, uh, the text the government has decided to establish business park and um, so and so, this is the whole text. And so let's store it in this text variable, that's done. Now we need to split that text so that which is called as the process of chunking and that enables LLM to go through um, our documents easily and quickly. And I am splitting this document on the basis of dots and then I'm removing the empty spaces. Then as you know that LLMs or any software system cannot really read this text. They need they work on the basis of numerical representation. So the numerical representation or the vector representation of this text is called as embeddings and we need to create those Im embeddings and I'm using that Cohere client which we set above to create these embeddings. So let me run this. That's done. Let me make sure that I have run this too. Let me run this again. That's done. Now let's check the shape of the embeddings we have created. So this is a shape through the NumPy. And now I am creating an index because uh, on the basis of these vector uh, numerical representations, because it is easier to search in the index. And then I'm using these pandas to uh, retrieve the nearest neighbors from these embeddings. And then we are formatting the result because by using pandas, it is really easy to format this uh, result in the tabular format. So that's done. Now let me ask this query, what decision did comment take? So let's run it. So there you go. So this is the whole paragraph or whole text we used. And then it has went into that text and brought these three nearest matches and it has ranked them by the distance. The first one has the closest distance to our question and so it means that it is the most correct answer, which is correct, yes. So because if you read this paragraph, this answers you correctly. This is the decision government has taken. Now let's convert this text into, let's say in French and let's see how it works. So I'm just grabbing this text from here and I'm taking this text to Google and I'm asking it English to French. So let's, this is my French. And I have no idea what it says, so but that is fine. This is just to see if our semantic search is working in this code. 
Jasper, you replace this English text to French text. And then also let's now replace this with our, uh, this English question with our French question. And I will simply replace this here. And let's put it here in this code. And let's see what it does. Let's go up and I will just say it. Run all so that it will just run it from the top. Let's see what it does. And once it returns the result, which has done it, and you can see, I mean, even if you don't know the French, it says that this decide or something, this matches here. And this is the this has the shortest distance to this, so it seems correct to me. Now that is great. Now let's do another example. Maybe we'll go with Hindi here. So I'll just go to my translate. I'll put my English here, and then maybe I'll just say Hindi. Okay, let's paste that. And I'm replacing this text, the French test with this. And now let's also replace my French question with the Hindi question. So let's paste it here. I don't have to run it all, but just for the sake of completion, I will run it all. It won't rerun what it already has done, so it is all good. So let's wait for it to finish. So there you go. Now, to be very honest, I have no idea what it says. And uh, besides, you can one quick difference you can see the all, all only has returned me one chunk because there are not no splitters there. Because in when we converted it to Hindi, it didn't put in the dots where through which we are splitting this text if you go above this is the splitter we used or delimiter but it it's it wasn't present in the text so it has just put it one chunk and that is why that is the only distance so this tells you another key point that whenever you are dealing with text make sure that you delimit or separate it properly you can do it that on a new line or whatever you want so this is it guys uh, you can see that by just replacing the language here with the same code we were able to do the semantic search and this is what all the llms do and if you want to improve on this code you can just put in your company's document or your own data here and then build a chatbot or um, you know search engine or whatever you want i will drop the all of these commands which i have used here in video's description so that you can also follow along if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.